Google is a multi-billion dollar company that dominates the world of technology. Back in 2020, the company achieved $180 billion in revenue, $40 billion in profits, 3.5 billion Google searches per day, and 85,000 employees. Now, as of January 2021, the total net worth of its parent company Alphabet is estimated to be $1.4 trillion. It breaking the trillion dollar mark means that Alphabet joined the trillion dollar club that includes Apple, Microsoft and Amazon. From the latest smartphones running Android to creating services that we now importantly use in our day-to-day -day life, we cannot deny that they are the leading tech giant of this age. Google is where tech reds dream of working, and luckily for an employee of the company itself, he had accidentally taken temporary ownership of their search engine. 2015, former Google employee San Mei Wet had purchased Google.com at 1.20 a.m. Eastern Time on September 29th. Wet had worked for five and a half years at Google and was an MBA candidate at Babson College in Wesley, Massachusetts. He told Business Insider that he was up late and searching inside Google domains, but he found out that Google.com was available. Instead of a sad grey face in front of the domain, he saw a happy green face, which means that domain isn't taken and can be bought. How did Google slip up the domain? Well, neither the company nor Vet had publicly revealed precisely how the domain name became available, as this may lead to security breaches that can lead to severe threats. Vet only needed pocket change in his wallet to buy the most trafficked domain in the world. It only cost him $12 to become the owner of Google.com. In an interview with Business Insider, Vet told them, I used to work at Google, so I kept messing around with the product. I typed in google.com and to my surprise, it showed it as available. I thought there was some error, but I could proceed with the checkout. Wed immediately purchased the domain and was surprised that the transaction went through. His dashboard was updated with messages regarding google.com. He had also received many emails with private information, which he reported to Google's security team. Proof that Wed was really the owner of Google.com can be seen on his LinkedIn account. He also said that the scary part is that I had access to the webmaster controls for a minute. He owned Google.com for a minute. Later on, Google sent Wed a notice of cancellation and a refund of his $12. In the note, it said that someone had registered the site before he could, and the domain name changed ownership back to Google. Wet doesn't know what allowed him to purchase the domain. It could have been an unseen bug in Google domains, or the company failed to renew its domain name automatically when the time came. A Google representative had spoken that they were looking into the issue, but did not notice anything unusual. In 2016, Google spilled the beans on how they resolved the aftermath with Wed. A blog post tells us that Wed was offered $6,006.13. If you are curious why that amount, because it numerically spells out Google. Instead of taking the money, Wet told Google that he wanted to donate this money to charity, and Google offered to double the amount. Wet's story is one of many examples where Google pays hackers for finding flaws in Google products and services. Between 2015 and 16, Google paid out over $2 million to more than 300 hackers and security researchers. Google's payout to WET ended up going to the Art of Living India Foundation, which runs free schools for children in poverty-stricken areas of India. But Google is not the first company that had domain problems. In 2003, Microsoft failed to renew its hotmail.co.uk address and someone else bought it. Microsoft then had to ask the buyer to return the domain. Conflicts over domain ownership don't always get settled amicably or cheaply. So-called domain squatters often try to get ahead of potential products and register the domain, hoping that they will be able to sell it for a higher price. In the current time, Google is still leading the technological revolution and is still one of the big key players in technology. The company is hoping that incidents like this never happen again and that is why they keep improving their security system every day. Wed, who is now working back at Google, had a chance to convert his $12 to more than $10,000. He might laugh off what happened if asked today, as he had found an opportunity to help out for a good cause, and also help the company. 
that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, please hit the like and the subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye.